Hello YouTube, this is Bruntime from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to mod your recipe file on 7 Days to Die. This will allow you to change what an item requires to be able to make it. This is if you actually want to cheat at the game. And you're a horrible person for wanting to do this, but I'm going to show you how, so I'm even worse. Alright, so how you're going to do this is you're going to open your 7 Days to Die folder. Mine is on my desktop. If you do have yours, it's probably in your program files x86. I just prefer it on my desktop because I do tutorials. Anyway, to get, oh, Razor comms. To get there, go ahead and hit data, config, recipes. All right, now, if you don't have it automatically opening with notepad or notepad plus plus, just go ahead and right click it, open with notepad, or if you have notepad plus plus, please open it with notepad plus plus. All right, so I'm just gonna show you one simple thing of how to do it. You're just gonna go right here and um, actually, let's go with barbed fence, or, uh, let's go with boarded windows, or maybe not. Hmm. Actually, essentially, you can change this from stone to sand, so you can just make a, you can make concrete just sand. You do, you know, you have endless things of what to do, it's just finding out what something's called and changing the material to make it to that. Now, the grid's gonna make a lot less sense, but, Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, that's how you mod your recipe file, and that's how you make it so um, concrete may only take one sand block. Alright, I just effectively let you cheat. This has been Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming. Love you guys, hope you had fun. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to consider leaving this video a like and adding it to your favorites. And if you get a chance, go ahead and subscribe to our channel for future content. Thank you and have a great day.